Rectifier is a circuit which converts AC into DC. It is one of the best application of a diode. There are different types of rectifier. There are two types of rectifier, half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier is further having two types center tab full wave rectifier and bridge full wave rectifier. We will see the circuit diagram and how does it work one by one. Now we will see the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier. This is the circuit of half wave rectifier and the figure below is the waveform of the input voltage. Now we want to plot the output waveform. When the input is positive, that means when the positive cycle is in the input side, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. The positive of this terminal will be connected to the anode of the diode. The positive anode makes the diode forward bias. When the diode is forward bias, it behaves as a short circuit. The equivalent circuit at this moment is shown here. The diode is represented by a short circuit here. This is the short circuited diode. The current in this circuit will flow in this direction. The voltage drop in RL will be same as that in the input. Therefore, the output voltage will be equal to the input voltage when the input is positive cycle. When the input becomes negative, that means this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive, the anode of the diode gets negative. When the anode is negative, that means the diode is reverse bias and it is a open circuit. The equivalent circuit is shown here. In this circuit, the diode is represented by a open circuit. In this case, there will be no current in the circuit. As there will be no current, the output voltage will be zero because there will be no drop in the load resistance. When the next positive cycle comes, the diode will again be a short circuit. I will get an output and when the negative cycle will come, diode will again be a open circuit and there will be no current. As in this case, current is always flowing in only one direction through the load. Therefore, we can say that the output voltage is a DC. The current is flowing for only half of the cycle of the input. Therefore, the name given to this rectifier is half wave rectifier. No doubt the efficiency of this rectifier will be very small and the ripple will be very high. The average current will be very low. This is the circuit diagram of a center tap full wave rectifier. The name given to this rectifier is because of use of a center tap transformer. The input is AC here. There are two diodes D1 and D2. The center of the transformer is connected to the load. The waveform shown here is of the input voltage. Now we will try to find out what is the output voltage we get across the load. Here is the point where I will measure the output voltage. Now we will consider positive cycle. When the cycle 
of the input is positive this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative with this input the point in the secondary this point is positive this is negative this is positive and this is negative with this polarity of the voltage in the secondary diode d1 the anode is positive and the anode of d2 is negative because of this the diode d1 is forward bias and the diode d2 is reverse bias diode d1 will be short circuit and d2 will behave as a open circuit the equivalent circuit will look like this with d1 short circuit and d2 open circuit the current in the circuit will be in the upper half of the circuit and the direction of current will be from the positive of the source through the diode through the resistance there will be no current in the lower portion of the circuit when the input is negative this point will be negative this point will be positive with this polarity in the primary the voltage induced will be negative here positive here negative here and positive here as the anode of d2 is positive d2 will be forward bias the diode d1 is negative therefore d1 will be reverse bias this time diode d2 will be a short circuit and diode d1 will be a open circuit this is the equivalent circuit when the input is negative cycle here we have shown that d1 is reverse bias whereas d2 is forward bias and it behaves as a short circuit this time the current will be in the lower section of the circuit and there will be no current in the upper half of the circuit the direction of the current will be from the positive of the source through the diode d2 through the resistance in this direction the current in the circuit in positive cycle is this and the current through the load in negative cycle is this as the direction of current in both the cycle is same so we can say that a dc has been generated now we will try to draw the output waveform in positive cycle the diode d1 will be forward bias and because of that there will be a current through the load and because of that current there will be a voltage in the circuit and the nature of the circuit uh, output voltage will be same as that of the input voltage in the negative cycle the current will be because of diode d2 the direction of the current through the load is same that's why we will consider that the voltage drop across the load is same as that was in the positive cycle because as discussed earlier that as the direction of current in through the load is uh, unidirectional we can say that a dc has been produced because the basic uh, difference between a uh, ac and a dc is in ac the current flows in opposite directions if uh, a current is flowing from uh, 
A to B in positive cycle, the current will flow from B to A in negative cycle. A DC, the current always flows from A to B. It will never flow from B to A. As the output of this rectifier, the current is flowing in only one direction, we then can call that the output of this circuit is a DC. This is the circuit diagram of a bridge rectifier. This is another type of full wave rectifier. In this circuit, we are using four diodes D1, D2, D3 and D4. The input is applied to the circuit. As the four diodes together make a bridge, therefore the name given to this circuit is bridge rectifier. Now we will try to understand how the circuit will generate a DC. In positive cycle, when this terminal is positive and this is negative, this point will be positive and this point will be negative. Because this point is positive, diode D1, the cathode is connected to the positive. So, D1 will be reverse bias. The positive is connected to the anode of D3. Therefore, D3 is going to be forward bias. In this section, we find that because of this negative, diode D2 is reverse bias, whereas diode D4 is forward biased. The equivalent circuit is as shown here. D1 is reverse biased. D2 is, is again reverse biased. D3 is forward biased. And D4 is also forward biased. The current in the circuit will start from the source, positive source. It will flow through D3 through the load RL through D4 and then to the negative of the source. Now we will see how the circuit behaves when a negative cycle is applied. This terminal will be negative, this terminal will be positive, this terminal now will be negative and this terminal will be positive. With this negative diode D1, the cathode will become negative. This reverse bias, sorry, this forward biases the diode D1. Diode D3 is reverse biased. Because of this positive, the anode of D2 is positive, therefore D2 will be forward biased. Because the cathode of D4 is positive, D4 will be reverse biased. The equivalent circuit is as shown. In this circuit, D1 is short circuit, D2 is again short circuit, D3 and D4 are open circuit. The flow of current will be from the positive of the source through D2. There is a load connected here through RL through D1 to the negative of the source. The current through the source is flowing in positive as well as in negative direction. In the load, both the current is unidirectional. As we have seen that in positive cycle, the flow of current is this. In negative cycle, again the flow of current is this.
as in both the cycle the current is flowing in the same direction we can say that a dc has been produced now we will see the output waveform in positive cycle the output will be same as that of input and in negative cycle the diode d1 and d2 are forward biased and because of that i will get this voltage a inverted output the output is a dc because the voltage is unidirectional it is in either positive or negative 